Oh yeah. Darlene, can you hurry up? I've been waiting here for. What you doing, Darlene? You doing your makeup? Darlene, why you gotta do your makeup again? Why you gotta do your makeup again? I'm over here trying to keep Amigo from electrocuting himself on the cord. I'm just sitting here by myself. I'm a lonesome. Amigo, stop. What? Kind of dancing you doing over there? That kind. La cha cha. It's still recording. Oh, we're rolling. We're rolling. I have to wait for my zip to calm down. Why? Look. Can you see it? Oh. Oh. Yeah. What? Can you guys see it? Don't judge me. <laughs> hey. Get it all zoomed in and stuff. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys. Hi, welcome to What's Up Woods. Thanks for being so great to us, you guys. You proud we haven't missed a day in how many? Almost two weeks. Hopefully by this time we've got a hundred thousand. That was a shitty high five. Shooty high that five. That was a bad one too. Do another one. There we go. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Um, Cooper is not with us this week. He went back to his dad's house, so it's just us holding down the fort. I just got home from hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> but this other child of ours is keeping us plenty busy. Did you see him making out with the mirror? Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, best video ever. I should go viral. Okay, we asked you guys, what do you guys want to know? Let's do a Q&A with Jackson and I. And Jackson chose three questions slash comments, and I also chose three. So you can go first, honey. You're up first. My first question was, if you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? A million? A million. One with six zeros. And two commas. I would either open up a zoo or that spa thing I told you about. I think that would be so fun. I don't think you could do a zoo with only a million bucks. What if we only had like two really cool animals? Maybe no. Kinda, be a small zoo. Maybe I gotta think about what I would do. Yeah, you could do a bucks. petting farm. Oh, that'd be cute. Like with donkeys. <laughs> you thought about what is my hair doing? I am a peacock right now. I'm peacocking. Do you uh, know what that means? When peacocks try to show off, they ruffle their feathers. I'm peacocking for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Kyo, what would you do with a million dollars? I would... Buy I'd a buy a Lambo? No, I'd buy a Ferrari 458 Italia in red. Tan, How much are those cars? Tan leather seats. I'd buy two of them. Why two? Why not? I mean... Why would you only want one? I don't know. It's like... Yeah, I'll have a steak, but just one bite. <laughs> Can't masking mine. <laughs> Question number two. Um, <laughs> this is from Shelby Martindale. She asks, Shelves. what something new you have learned from about each other since being married? Oh, married? you stole mine. I have, an, I have a backup. Um, something new about being married? All we I, learn new about each other. Oh, I can read her like a book. <laughs> yeah, today there is this thing that was going on and you this know all the drama. no it's not drama it was it was something personal that she wanted to ask me but she hadn't and it was just kind of like it wasn't a big deal you know but it was just something that she felt kind of did you or did you not eat my chocolate so there was this thing going on in the back of her mind this this thing that she wanted to bring up and talk to me about but I didn't know that that's there was something I could just tell that there was something like not on you know something kind of off and uh, I kept asking her, hey, is everything okay? Like, what's up? You know, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. And I kept thinking like, man, you know, I'm not doing anything to be a jerk or a dickhead, you know, <laughs> like, a, um, I'm being pretty good dude, like, what's going on? And I could just tell, I call it my husband radar. My husband radar was going off. You know in Halo when you play the game and there's that little thing in the little circle right here in the screen? And there's, you see the people, it's like, oh, incoming alert, do, 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 and it's on my radar. <laughs> and uh, eventually I just pried it out of her. I grabbed her, wrapped her up, and I said, hey, you listen here. Here's my concerns. What's going on? So I didn't think, I, I don't think I could do that as good before we got married. Well, that was a serious answer. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that Jackson doesn't like tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Actually, I do like tomato. You never get them on your cheeseburgers. Not on cheeseburgers. <laughs> like 
pickles and lettuce and mustard. He doesn't like mayo and he likes mustard more. I could just take mustard and just squeeze it in. Oh my gosh, mouth. and he never drinks a full soda or drink in our house unless it's an energy drink. Then he drinks it all plus some, but he'll drink like half a soda and just leave them around. So I find like open sodas throughout our home. I'm wasteful. <laughs> oh, okay, your turn. That was your answer. I don't know. Um, do, do I need to get deep? You have more to. pairs of basketball shorts than an NBA basketball player. <laughs> When Jackson comes home, he loves to take off his shirt. I'm taking First off my pants right does. now. <laughs> Put your pants back on. <laughs> you can't see them. They were already falling off. Plus, just... You have no pants on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, First thing Jackson does when he comes home from work, takes off his shirt, walks around with his pants, unbuttons them a little bit, tells me stories, keeps his dress shoes on. Then he goes and changes and he comes back out with only basketball shorts on. I'm not complaining. I freaking love it, but it's just a routine I've gotten. Like, well, damn it, Darlene, I walk in the house and I feel like I'm in the Sahara Desert, okay? The heater's on to 87 degrees, all right? I walk in, I start sweating. You want me to keep my slacks on and sweat? I'll sit on the couch and it will be all sweating. Yeah, sweats on the couch? Yeah, I'll get my sweats on the couch, Darlene. Can I get my sweats on you right now? I just was sweating at hip hop. Uh, that's not sweats, that's sweaty face. Waste. Can your turn? Question? Uh, yeah. The next one that I had was uh, it was about me though. It's okay. Okay. It was where did I learn Spanish? Where? I served a mission for our church, and they assigned me to be in Dallas, Texas, and work with all the Latinos, and the Hispanics, and Mexicans. I wore pants there. <laughs> so one time when I was on my mission. I was with my mission companion, is like my coworker, and uh, they call them companions. And this German Shepherd, and we were down in the hood in Dallas. We were probably 45 minutes away from our apartment. We didn't have a we didn't have a car. We just had bus passes and bikes. And this German Shepherd bit me on the freaking leg and <laughs> ripped my pants off. And so I went home, and I had one leg was on covered with pants, and the other one was kind of how it is now, just free hanging. <laughs> no pants there. Yeah, so I'm sorry that didn't uh... That's okay. Anyways, I wor worked there for two years, served there, worked there for two years, and that's how I learned Spanish. So I speak Espanol. street Mexican versions of Spanish. I can't really have a professional conversation where we're talking about, like, you know, super in-depth business conversations, but I can hold my own pretty well in, like, a street conversation. I'm really good at Spanish. Yeah, Como sweet. estas obien y tu? <laughs> O B G Y N R two D two. I put my pants. Put back your on. pants back on, Dale. It's getting cold. You got children watching this. Just kidding. I wasn't cold. I was hot. Okay. Next question. Um. So this one comes from Grayson Bowman. Bowman. Asks, Grayson. That's a what cool do you want to do in the future with your channel? Well, we want to rule YouTube. Rule the world. Just I want to do more challenges. I think that would be fun to for us to do like. The challenges. We have some good ideas actually coming up, and we've been talking. Well, Jackson's been talking with Carl and Ginger. Oh yeah, Carl and Ginger, what's up? Hey, hey. We're excited. And they had some fun ideas that we want to do, and I also think it'd be great to do like summer adventures. We had this great idea about uh, our airstream trailer, We're getting his trailer and traveling around and doing like meetups, and then at the end of our like summer tour or whatever, we would give the trailer to somebody maybe who needed it. Isn't, didn't we talk about doing that? Jackson's like, yeah. I don't know what I want. It was the pink shagging wagon trailer. What do we call it? Shagging wagon? No, the, the glam, the glamper, glamper, the glamper, glamper camper. But I think that that would be fun for us just to travel more and get footage and just like, Ow, I don't know, going on adventures. Food. I would like to see that on our channel. What would you like to see on our channel? Yeah, I, I like uploading a lot and I'm not just putting it out there because we're not like committing to doing it all the time, but it's just, I want to see us do fun things and really give an effort at this because you know, it's fun to see it and everybody likes it, but it helps us be together. Mm -hmm. and, and that's great we to see have a, memories. We see a lot of like benefits in our... <laughs> benefits! <laughs> I just want to see... Can I tell you a funny clap story real quickly? You know the movie The Finest Hours? When he gets to like the last wave? Cooper, we went to see that with my whole family for Logan's birthday. And Cooper was on like the edge of the seat watching and he got the wave and Cooper goes... <laughs> I don't know why I just did that, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He laughed so hard. He's like, I didn't mean to. Like, you could tell he was just like so nervous. And then he got to the wave and Cooper clapped his hand. He's like, I don't know why I just said that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so it reminded me. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, cute little coop. Just put a lot of effort into it, and whatever we end up doing, 
We just don't want to look back in five years and regret not doing something. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, your question. You stole my second, my third question. You don't have any others? Well, okay, let me let's pause. I'm going to go through the comments on the YouTube. No, I have I got one. Sorry. All right, Darlene, here we go. I'm going to read this. Mm hmm This one's from Mia Duncan. Mia. Like Dunkin' Donuts. I bet you less, I bet you love donuts, Mia. All right, listen up here, Carlita. Darlene, damn it, I mean, what's number one thing you will make sure you do or continue doing in 2016? Creating <laughs> online content. That's mine. Next. <laughs> My turn? No. Okay, well, Darlene, damn it, elaborate on that. Um, Elab you, you, elaborate. You, you, I've always heard it the opposite way. People always are like, what do you want to do different in 2016? So I've never had anybody ask me, what do you want to keep doing the same? So that's you know actually what? a good Mia, that's question. a good question because you're already implying that Darlene's doing a lot of damn shit. And she really is. <laughs> oh I'm sorry. <laughs> you're hilarious. So what are you going to continue doing, Darlene? Oh, I am grateful that I have been consistent with uploading. That make, that's like That was a goal I wanted to have. And now that you've been vlogging... And reminding me it's a very, very helpful. I've been trying my hardest to, to vlog. You've been doing good, Dale. So I want to keep creating consistency. Consistency, that's the word I'm doing. What are you going to keep doing in 2016? Yeah, I like that. Um, I like... <laughs> I like that you're talking like Dale. You know what I did? Uh, I, I set goals for 20, 21 6 <laughs> And uh, I decided that I was going to set goals doing a bunch of shit that I didn't want to do. Like, I hate running. <laughs> I hate running. And so I set a goal, and I've been been doing good. I've been doing some runs. And I'm going to do a marathon and a half marathon. I'm, I'm, I thought I'd be ready for that, but I don't think I will be because I took a week off to go fishing. But yeah, that's I'm my common thread is, is things that are beneficial that I hate doing. I'm going it. to force myself to do it. Come to my hip-hop class. No. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Why? Uh, uh. <laughs> nothing. You ain't got nothing, crickets. Okay, moving on. I love doing that. This My one answer. is kind of like more of a statement, but I feel like it's something that would be healthy to address. So this statement, I'm not even going to say who it's from because it might feel like it's an attack, but this person says Mormons aren't allowed to say the F word, right? Question mark. Or any bad word, really. Which no one should swear because it doesn't sound classy. So I thought that'd be a good one for us to address, not necessarily like a question, but I feel like in our church, we are given commandments. And I think if you're Christian or follow the Bible, everybody has the commandments. But also, um, I feel like something that's great about the gospel is we have something that we like to exercise called agency, where we get to choose for ourselves what we want to do. And I think the thing about our church that I'm very grateful for is we're given values to live up to and kind of, I like to see them as guidelines. And obviously you shouldn't be out saying the F word or cussing or whatever it is. And we have been given guidelines to speak modestly and, you know, upright, but it's not like our pa our bishop or by or pastor or whatever comes to church is like, thou shall not say the F word or you're kicked out. Um, I think a lot of people think that it's a lot stricter than it is. They, one thing I feel like it's important is blessings are promised to you when you try your hardest to live like the best that you can. But I think God has a sense of humor and I do think God is obviously very forgiving and he knows that you're trying to do your best and if you fall on the ice and a oh shiitake mushroom slips out. Uh, no, it wasn't you're... shiitake mushroom. Was oh. <laughs> Fudge <but>. Tucker. <laughs> but I just, so if you're not a member or of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints or a Mormon, it's don't think that we're like commanded not to say the F word because we're not. Did I say that right or no? Well, they say don't swear because it is vulgar and chases away good vibes or what we call the spirit. So, yeah, we're in the wrong when we swear and it's something that I'm working on. Um, you know, maybe I make it seem like I swear a lot, but I don't swear <laughs> a ton. Do I? No, you don't. You're rolling your eyes. <laughs> You know, I, but I feel like I have a clean mouth. Like one of the things that I need to work on is, well, that I have been working on and people is like being um, sexual. That's that's gross. That's not good. And swearing and saying, you know, there are like certain degrees of swear words. So you want to avoid those ones and you want to avoid talking 
you know, gross and, you know, but then swearing is just something you should work on. So obviously you shouldn't do it. You know, it's not good. Even if you're not religious, it's just not professional. It's not correct. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. But I mean, in your defense, it's not like, like you're professional when you're at work, when you come at home and you're in your like comfortable boundaries and settings, like even though a camera's in front of us, it's not like if there was an audience of whatever 40,000 people sitting in front of us, I don't think you would drop an F bomb. So I mean, it's just hard to remember to keep those boundaries. <laughs> Maybe you would, <laughs> but it's kidding. about boundaries. And I mean, I don't know. I think that the gospel allows more freedom to like see, it's kind of like a, like every action is like an equal and opposite reaction. It's the same thing. I think for like the gospel, when you make good choices, there's going to be an equal and opposite reaction. And like when you're cussing and having sexual jokes, which is like our kind of humor. And we felt that have felt bad about that. Um, it doesn't really cultivate a house or a home that kind of speaks of God. And I think that also, I that, think that should be the underlying issue, not that I'm it's sorry. like, don't do that. Well, yeah, I think that life's kind of like a stepladder. Like, okay, you know, if you don't progress, you don't get any new reward. You don't get any higher or make any more achievements. You just cruise along at whatever altitude you're at. But if you decide that you're going to be better and if it's obeying commandments, if you're religious or if it's setting goals and striving toward them, you bump up a level. It's like you jump and you get it's that. It's like a Mario star. Pew! Yeah, or the crazy mushroom. Boo! You know, you jump <laughs> up and you get it. And so that's that's the way we approach life is you, know, you do things and you're progressing and you're doing good, but then you get into a rhythm and you're comfortable with that, but there's always another level up. Mm -hmm. And then you can go all the way. Strive for all progression. The way up. Oh, we're going to go all the way to Utah. Okay. I'll put my pants done? on. Well, we think I don't know why they say, what's it called? Rolling. Because the film strip, like back in the day, the film strip would roll, like physically roll. The more you know. I see. You've done an A plus plus job, honey, and you've been a great sport. Yeah, I only like positive constructive criticism. You're like a chameleon. You do so great. Oh, I'm so sore. Look at my wife's butt. Oh, don't look at my butt. It's in a probe. That's your butt only. Anyways, Stuart. Stuart. <laughs> we gotta sit up. We gotta close out the vlog. They want an official sign off. This is the last signing off. Thanks for watching. If I knew how to make an end slate, I would do it, but I have no I'm idea. Gonna do a free I don't even know slate. what an end slate is. <laughs> We love you guys. Should I turn this off? Yeah, bye.